Hello, welcome. I'm Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this is Focus Friday. It used to be Card Fold. And I'm calling it Focus Friday because we're kind of focusing on a style of card, how to do something. It's not necessarily a technique. Sometimes the technique kind of blends in with what we're doing. So that will happen. Anyway, um, want to remind you that I did a video on Tuesday. I had a couple kinks in it, uh, but it did go. Um, I think I figured out what I did wrong. It's always a learning curve with this technology. So I forgot one little step in there, and I'm not going to forget that one. Once you make one error, you usually remember what error you made. But it is up on Facebook. It used two stamp sets, Drive By and Catching Butterflies. And I made two cards. I'm going to show these to you real quick. And here's one of them. Here's another one. Okay. There are a total of four cards, two of each set, that I demonstrated. And if you place a $50 order... And I use this code, and I'm going to tell you the code, 3 R V C A C C R. One more time, guys. 3 R V C A C C R. So go watch the video, then place a $50 order, and you're going to get the two rolls for all four of those cards. So, and let me know what you liked or anything else with those stamp sets would be great. All right, so now we are going to be playing with a new stamp set for me. Now, it is not necessarily brand new, but it is called Give It a Whirl. And I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And then, because I have not used this, so this was new to me. It was one that I'm meaning to get to, and we have so many wonderful stuff to work with. It's hard to kind of figure out what to begin with, what to go work with. So I made a point of getting at this. And it comes with these dies. And I want to make sure you are seeing this. Okay, good. I'm going to scoot over just a tap. All right. So it comes with these dies here and this. And this big one here, the wheel, which you need, and a round circle. Okay. Now, the nice thing about that is what I did was, I'm going to set that up there, I made a template using those shapes, the heart, the box, this, because that is what is showing up in your wheel. Okay, so I want to show you, if you go to your catalog and start digging through it, you could put this over it and you can see which one might work with that. Like have a stellar birthday and a heart. This one, you could use that one for that one. Are we getting there? Okay. Trying to adjust this because when I do the other one, the the phone is off to the side. Okay, here's another one. You won't get necessarily all of the turtle in, but you could get part of it in. Okay, here's another one um, over here. Um, the goats. There or here, however much you want in. Could do part of him, could do all of him with that. So go through the catalog and see what you find. Now I pulled up the ping. There are little birds here. Okay. So you could go and you can play. See, now you got part of it here. So go through your catalog, dig and see. Now the one I chose, and I'm going to lay this off to the side is the other one I have not used. 
Peekaboo Farm. So, I have already pre-cut a lot of this stuff where we're going to be here for quite a while. So let me show you. On the guys, with that set, I got the pink colored in petal pink. I stamped the hello there because remember I told you this is a month of checking in with friends, family, know that you're thinking of them. Even though it's Valentine's month and it's love, that doesn't have to be love all the way through. It can be that you're thinking of them. So there's the horse. Okay. I wonder what happened. And there's the cow. I hope I put the right one on my thing. Let me show you the card. If I goofed it, we're going to know it. So there's, it spins. And you could do a tab if you want. There's the pig. There's the cow. Oh, did I miss one? Try that again. There's the hello. There's the cow. I'm going backwards a minute. I could have sworn I put them all in. Let me do this. Hello. You got to make sure you got them glued down good. Okay. All right. Well, this one is not glued down good. That's why it's catchy. There's the pig. The cow. And we're minus one for some reason. I wondered about that, why the horse wasn't there. Okay, we're going to correct it with this one. Don't know how that happened. Okay, how I left the horse out, I don't know. All right. So anyway, we're going to start working on this. So I have pre-cut a lot of stuff so that we save some time and effort on it. So, number one, let me pull this out. I colored each of the animals. We'll get them on there. And I pre-cut. i got to make sure I am, guys, in your card light. Let me see if I can move the this thing over just a little. Sorry for being wobbly. There, now maybe that'll be a little better. Let's see. Yep, that's better. Okay. So what I did was I pre-cut this and I have a hole here. Okay? And that's going to work with your circles. That are going to go on. So we'll. I'll show you how to put the circles together. What I did with this because it can leave a little mark line of. I'm going to bring this up. Of this of your lines, and you can draw so you see that you're all within the right frame on this thing. Okay. I think what I need. All right. So I think it's meant for only three. I just realized that. That's why. So pick whether you want the horse, the cow, or the pig. Okay? All right. So then what I did was I used the tasteful textures. The subtle's gone. I want something that will distract away from that. Okay. Then I went over to the chicken one, birthday dies, birthday chick dies, and I cut two of these out. Okay? And... I used the border dies here, which is, and I'm trying to do this so I don't knock everything. Okay, there's the chick. Here is the border dies. Okay. And I'm wondering if I look. Well, I've got a block over there. Okay. So. These are the border dies. I use this one, not this one, sorry, this one to get the shape. Okay, and I don't want it up as high as it is, 
So I will be taking it down. And I just realized I left my scissors in the room. So I'm going to take this down to where it is just about right there. Which is what I did on this card. Okay. So let me grab my scissors. And notice I'm not using my snips. I'm using these scissors. And there is a reason for it. But before I put this on, I want to stamp from Nature's Beauty. I want some grass on here. So I'm grabbing it and a block. Okay, not my favorite block. And mossy metal. Now, I'm doing it with apple green. So, here we go. So, here is... I'm going to flip it over. No, I'm not. It just went crooked. That's all. And I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So... I've done it with that because I wanted some grass look. Oh, now my ink pad went absolutely out. Sorry. Press it down. Okay, so it went out a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this on. about where I want it. So I want it about right in there. Then, I told you, I don't ha I have the regular snips out. And it's because when I'm cutting something long like this, a long pair of scissors for me works a lot better than using the short snips. There. Okay. So now I've done that, okay, and this little mark will get covered. So anyway, so that's what I used to create that. That's the border dies. So now that's done. I'm going to put this away. Okay. Okay, and that just fell out. All right, now I'm going to set that over there. We don't need it. I'm going to take these fences and get them out of the way right now that I cut from the birthday chick dies. Okay. Which is right here. I thought it would give a little interest down in the front. Okay. I'm just using the Tombow glue, guys. That's all I'm doing right now. Okay, that goes and that connects. Okay. And then again, I'll grab those scissors. Now this one I could use the snips on. Well, honestly. That just did not snip off her. Cut it out. Okay, now I got that off. Now, let's do. So, you prepare your circles. Now, I used one and a half inch circles. You could use the circle from the set. It's a very comparable one. But because I was doing quantities and everything, I didn't want to have to do that twice. Okay, and multiple times. Now, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do with this. I want to get some dimensionals up and I want to put some dimensionals on and I'm going to move that totally out of sight I want to put some dimensionals on this one here and I did not want shoot I 
did not want that off. Leave, and if it won't stay, I'll have to get, take it off. Leave the uh, coverings on it, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that's going to go there. And I'm going to get up a minute, check, make sure my things want to come off. Don't mind me, I got a dimensional stuck to my hand. Okay. There. And that'll go there. Okay. So I want to leave that like that for a minute. Now what I do need, I need to grab. What you really need to use is your take your pick tool. I did find my bone folder, but I've lost the take the pick tool. So now what you want to do is you want to get it right in the center. So if you've got your take your pick tool, use it. And you want it going through. Now you'll need a brad. Now, I'm going to caution you on this. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge today. And I'll explain why in a minute, as soon as I find my brad that I want to use. Okay. I'm looking for, see if I've got that color that I had earlier. All right, I'm gonna use this color, Brad, out of my Brad set. And they do have Brads in the catalog and you can get a Brad. So what you're gonna to have to do is you're going to have to get this right over that hole. Okay. And I want to try to just... And I'm going to tell you, it's normally not a problem, but yesterday, Thursday, and everything. Okay. I, um went down and worked in my soap room and I was having trouble with the mixer no I didn't hurt myself with the mixer there we go I um, was having trouble with the mixer now you see this you want this on top here and I just gotta find the hole so anyway I was having trouble with the mixer, so I let it set a little bit. Uh, I was doing frosting. There, I got it. I was doing frosting. Okay, now see how I've got that through there. Now I'm going to flip it. It came better than I thought it would. Earlier this morning, I was having a hard time. Um, okay. So, anyway, um, what in the heck? I just realized, you know what, I left out a step. Oh, I thought I did this one and I didn't. Okay, I gotta undo it. So anyway, I um I need this hole. This is what I gotta have. So now pardon me for just a second. So anyway, what I was trying to say is so then I used I was having trouble with the frosting, so I let it set. Well, then it set up, and then I didn't want to put my gloves on. And frosting does have lye in it and everything. And normally I wear the gloves. And I didn't wear the gloves. No, it's not real bad. It just means, and I think I already had some cuts in there. It just made my hand really, really sore. There, now we're going to be better. God, how I missed that, I'll never know, guys. So anyway, there, now we have a hole cut. That's what we needed to begin with. 
Okay. So now, back to doing this. Here I got it all the way through. So, anyway, so my hand was really, really sore from it. And trying to pick up and do small, small. Guess what? I got it to go all the way through. And I'll review this with you. But anyway, so my hand. Okay. And that will help it move. There we go. Now we're correct. Okay. So anyway, so you'll let me review this for you. You're gonna cut this with your paper, and I'm using pool party. Then you're gonna cut in here, you're gonna cut that. Then you'll be ready to go. Okay. So decorate the bottom. Do that. Now we're gonna put in this. Now I do want hello in here. And now see it lifts up. So now what I'm gonna do is take and glue. And get my glue in here. And I just bring it down. And just hope I got enough glue on it. And the nice thing with Tombow is you can move it. Okay, so now there goes that one. And I want it just out of range. I'm going to use the horse because the last time I didn't use the horse. So you've got choices. Do you want a pig? Do you want a cow? And now I'm going to do this. Let me get this in here. So anyway, my finger, particularly this left hand, is kind of, kind of sore for my little goof. I knew better than not do that without, but I was trying to get a few cupcakes down there, frost it and everything. I have my first craft show the first weekend in March. And I can't believe that's coming up really, really quick. All right, now, let's bring these other guys over. Uh, let's do the cow. Okay, let's do, oh, did it come out? Yep, the bread came out. I may have to get a new bread. Let's see. Let's see if I can find another bread I can use. There, nope, that's green. I have a little box here with all kinds of brads in it. It really doesn't matter color because I'm going to show you why when we get this done. All right. Okay, get this turned right. It absolutely fell up because one of the little, uh, oh, don't mind me, the uh, pullbacks, you know what I'm saying, holds the brad in place. Because I was using and pulling it out so many times that it didn't. There, now it's split. See, it didn't split on the last one. All right, so now we'll turn it. There's your horse. So let's use our cow. Okay. All right. We're not done yet because I'm going to show you what we're going to do next as soon as we get this up. So anyway, my first crash show is the first weekend in March. Hoping the weather holds good. I was supposed to do one in January, a farmer's market that was an indoor one. And we had 14 inches of snow. So I wasn't able to do that one. Okay, so now we have this. Now I'm going to set this aside, and I thought I had some paper here, and I have the cloud punch. So now I'm going to punch three clouds, let me cut this off.
believe it or not, we're going to have this card done in a second. And one more clap. And I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. Bring this in. Again, I want to make sure you're in camera range. And you are. Good. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cloud here. And I want a partial cloud over here. And I'm going to move it over just a tad. And I'm going to, because I think I put him up a little higher than what I normally do. I'm going to cut him down a little. You can freehand cut these clouds to fit your happiness. There. Now I'm going to glue those on. Okay. Glue this one on. This is that new cloud punch, so you're going to be able to use it on a lot of things. All right, now this is too big. So what I'm simply doing is cutting it down, and I cut it down to this. Okay, and I'm going to glue it on. And that even covers your little brad there that you've got, so your color doesn't really matter what you use. Okay. So now then, I'm going to put it on a card base. I told you I brought out my bone folder. I found it. May not have found my take a pick tool, which would do the holes better. All right, now our next move is we need to get this on and we need to get it raised. You do not want it flat. So here comes here comes the glue dots. Now these you will obviously take the backing off of. There. And it will take quite a few. Then what I have here is another one that has Some border and I'm just going to use it you can use what you want you can use all of the one I just used or do like I'm doing like this okay now I've got that on and I have my card here and then I did forget to take the backings off a couple of them. That one's off. Okay, we're going to have a card done. Now you're done. Now if you want to punch out a circle over here to make it move easier or put a tab on, you can do that. And do make sure you've got these glued down good. Mine needs to dry, too. And there you go. There's your card. So, I hope this gave you an idea and you get out and start using the uh, this uh, Give It a Whirl die. It's a lot of fun. You're going to be able to find a lot of different ones that you can use. You could even use some different flowers in there if you wanted to, whatever you used. I used it in conjunction with the cloud punch, so you could do that. I think there is a cloud maybe on there that might be small, but I like this one. This one I haven't put the cloud on, which I will get done. But in the meantime, there you go. This is Pamela Stampin' Pink Rose. Don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter. If you subscribe to my blog, then make sure you're also subscribing to my newsletter. That's two different things. Uh, if you want the uh, tutorials for the drive-bys, again, your host code for that is 3RVCACCR. One more time, guys. 3RVCACCR. If you would like 
the vi uh, the uh, tutorials to the uh, Facebook Live I did earlier this week. Make a $50 purchase and you're going to get four tutorials. Anyway, this is Pamela Stampin' Pink Rose. I'm hoping I gave you another idea to get creative with your stamping. Have a lot of fun. If you have any questions, email me at Pamela at Stampin' Pink Rose. Take care. Have a great day and a great weekend.